If you were preparing drawings of small domestic cottages such as the one you see here, you would probably like to have a tool which would enable you to draw the walling, the outer walling of the dwelling um, quickly and easily. The, the outer wall here is a skin a double brick walling with uh, a 30 millimeter gap between the two. And DCAD offers you a multi-line facility. So if we picked draw and multi-line and I'll start it here, make sure that ortho is on so that I can head up in this direction. You can see I'm drawing that wall in in one step. So let's go 4,000 in that direction and we'll come across in this direction maybe 3,000. So you can see how easy it is to draw a, a multi-line, we use a multi-line tool to draw the outer wall of the dwelling. If we then explode that, assuming we've got our lengths correct and it's in the correct position, I'll explode it and that breaks it up into individual elements so you can see there's a, a, a polyline. It's then quite easy to um, copy, say, um, a block of a window and put it into position. So we could copy that from its insertion point or the midpoint of the line through here. We want the midpoint's not going to work for us. Is a grip going to work for us? Yes, a grip is going to work for us. And now we'll go from there to mid, and we should be able to line the block up directly on top of the wall. So there we are in a couple of clicks, provided you have your block library set up properly and the insertion point of the blocks in the correct place. You can see you can draw the outer wall of a dwelling like this in double quick time. So the multi-line tool is a very useful tool. You have to set up your multi-line. That's done via settings and multi-line before you start and I've created one I've called 250 millimeter double wall and you can see down through here from the center point I've offset one line 125 mil, another 15, another minus 15 to give me the gap between the two uh, rows of bricks. So you can create any number of multi-line styles and give them meaningful names and use them in your drafting. So it's a very useful tool.